Okay, so I had future teachers today, and it kind of prompted me to make a little program. Um, we were talking about graphs and circle graphs and all that fun stuff, algebra too. Um, but it was it gave me an idea to make a formula that would calculate the angle and percentage of uh, any number in a circle graph. I'll show you in a second. Let me get the magnifier out. Oh, there we go. Alright, so basically, here's how it works. I'll bring that up. Alright, <clears throat> started out. Um, we're going to use four integer variables and a double float point variable. And, you know, I have my re re any red text is what appears in the programming box itself. Wow, this magnifier is a giant. Let's make that a little smaller. There we go. Okay, all the red text is text that appears in the window as actual red font. Um, so the first thing I did is degrees and percentage, and I should be in. Oops, in different circle graphs. First things first, give me a total number of items in the graph. So, like when you get your total, like if ten people are doing something and you want to make a circle graph of the ten people's different choices, you got to give me the total, which is ten. So my first variable, which is a integer variable, a, because, you know, of course we need a here, um, that's going to be programmed in, and then it says, now that I've registered that as the denominator, or the total amount, I will need the numerator, uh, or the part, to put over top of the whole. So then b, which is another integer va value, and then um, I have a couple formulas here, um, c, will be b times 360. Well, let me see if I can get a notepad out for you real fast. Alright, so when you do a formula to find the degrees in a circle graph, you do your part, you know, like 10 over 100, okay? And then you do times that, or you set that equal to x or a or d, uh, something or whatever your variable is over 360 and it's like a ratio you know uh, that way you can find um, how many how many degrees 10 out of a hundred is equivalent to so in order to no, in order to put that into uh, the CPP compiler I had to make two separate formulas first I had to do the B times 360 because you're trying to make the those two fractions I just showed you equal so the b times 360 as a cross multiplier and then um, whatever I get for that divide that by a which is the total number in the graph and that'll give you um, the angle the degrees and the angle in degrees and then uh, I tried to slap this formula in afterwards but it ended up screwing itself so after I print that out I um, I have it take um, the whatever value I had for the degrees and just put that over 360 and then times it by 100 to get what percent of the graph that many degrees would be and ultimately, ultimately what percent of the graph that amount of things would be and then I have it print out that so we'll go ahead and run it um, we'll go ahead and run it thank you there we go Oh, look at that. It overlapped nicely. This program will calculate the degrees and percentage in different circle graphs. First things first, give me the total number in the graph. So let's make it something we could do in our head. So there's going to be a hundred things in the graph. Alright, and I said, alright, now that I've registered that as the denominator, I'll need the part, numerator, to place over the whole. Alright, let's make it 10. It's calculating, and then it said, if there are 10 number of items, the angle will be 36, which is a tenth of 360, you know, because, and the percentage will be 10, because it's 10 over 100. Uh, and this works with anything, again, as most of my formulas do, you know, it could be like 312, and 34, and it'll still, you know, it's almost, it's instantaneous, um, you know, it, do, it does everything quite nicely. So, um, 
I guess it it rounds pretty badly though. I have to work on figuring out how to even out the rounder, the round, round and round and my bobber, and uh, work on that a little bit. But just something I was inspired to do uh, while working with the little nooblets today. Thank you for watching.